All right, pretty girl. You have a short day today. Yeah. You're gonna be done early. That's right. Okay. You want to go to school? Yeah. Okay, well then we'll go. This week is a short week for the kids at school. Um, the shy one had one exam yesterday. That was it. She's done. She doesn't go back to school till January 10th. Pretty girl. She has today. <coughs> excuse me. Today she has the. Uh, uh, what is it? Anyway, today she's got half a day. I think she's in school tomorrow, and that's it for her. She's done after that. Now, tonight is the Christmas concert for a pretty girl. So, it's going to be, you know, we're going to go to that. The whole family's going to go to that. We're bringing, even bringing um, her cousin. Her other auntie can't make it because she won't be out of work in time. But we're going to bring her cousin. We're all going to go have a good time for that. To be totally honest, I'm just taking today off. I'm relaxing. Um, and that's about it. I'm not doing a lot today. We're going to just enjoy a, enjoy a day off and relax some. Uh, my intention is to get back to work on the land tomorrow. Uh, there's a few things I need to do because it is, it is December, which means it's time to get seaweed. In the next week or two, we're going to make several trips out to the beach because we're going to do some seaweed compost. What's wrong with you? I want to go home. You want to go home? Okay. You're going to hide from the camera? Okay, we'll go home. Tell me, did you have a good day? No. Yesterday we got 25 of these ebonies and they are leggy, overgrown, messy, and we need to prune them all to make them useful. Um, all right, maybe not all of them, but we need to prune a lot of them. So we're gonna take a look at how we prune these even before we plant them. We're gonna get them a little under control. This one is a perfect example of what I'm talking about when I talk about we have real problems. Look at it, we've got, <coughs> multiple competing multiple competing stems here and we want to limit it <clears throat> the goal is again limit it to one stem so the best way to do that is to get in here and get some control all right we're going to start with the lower stems we're just going to snip these not getting rid of them we want to keep some leaves on the tree but we don't want these stems to I mean look at the size of some of these to start taking over as the main leading stem now here's where things get really confusing look at this side look at this one this one is starting to take over as the main stem it's actually significantly bigger than the proper main stem and it's a mess so we're gonna just get rid of that now we've got a better idea of what's happening now that we got rid of that big one we're gonna snip this snip that snip this and snip that. now that may seem a little and we're not done. There we go. That may seem a little harsh, but understand this is sitting in this little teeny bag. It, there's almost no root system here. We want this to grow straight and give us a good straight stem. Only way it's going to do that is if we keep it pruned properly. We've got 25 of these trees to do. 
Now this one is a great example of what we're talking about. This, now I did prune this one already. This had a massive stem coming off here, off to the side. And our goal is one stem going straight up. Now, this tells us what we have here is a problem. We have several pretty, pretty long side branches. And we want to stop these side branches from becoming the main leader. We want to prune everything so this stem right here, so this stem is our main stem. And the way we do that is we snip these down. We cut this big stem down and we probably could cut it real short but I'm not cutting it short. Right now I just want to limit the energy, growth energy, into this this stem right here. And oddly enough this one doesn't have anything major that bothers me. It is primarily one stem. It's a little crooked at the top but that's not really a big issue. What I am going to do is trim some of these long branches so the energy goes into the top not into these branches we don't want these branches to get too big this one looks to be the best one i've got so far and unfortunately if you look right here at the tip we've got a problem so we're going to do a little pruning and have this one take over the main stem all right this right here is another great example of a problem tree that we want to take care of early. We look, and look at this stem we've got here, this main tree, this leader is coming off. Got to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of these small ones just to make sure. Then here's where we have the issue. Right here we have that's not bigger. That's not the problem. This is the problem. We have this is the main competing the main stem. Now, all right, here's it. This has been broken here. We're going to snip it off. But if we look, we have a branch coming off. This is our main stem. This competing stem is actually bigger. We don't want that. We actually want to prune this down. We're going to get rid of that. And now we're going to trim this and this and this and this and this there. Now what we've done by trimming these down the way we have, by trimming them down what we've done is we've eliminated all the energy is going to go to this stem and this will straighten out hopefully. All right, today is a day of Pretty Girl's Christmas concert, the Christmas thing that they have here from her school is tonight. So we're all here doing that. 